Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. How are we doing today? It is Friday. It is the end of Das Week. We've reached the end, guys. It is the end. Give yourselves a pat on the back. One of these. You deserve it. It's been a long week. It's been longer than usual, and I can I can tell. I've got a I've got a way with these kind of things. I'm in I'm in touch with time, and uh, I've got to tell for these kind of things. Um, how is everybody doing today? How are we doing? Uh, thank you, it's Wawa for ten months. Much appreciated. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. I'm I'm okay. Yeah, I've been uh, filming for the past couple of days. I've been doing a lot of filming this morning and some filming yesterday, um, which is why I wasn't on stream yesterday. I was doing a bunch of filming and then I just kind of wiped myself out. So I was just kind of took the evening to chill, played some music, uh, just yeah, took it easy. You just had a big nap. Damn, a big nap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of jealous. I actually. <laughs> I'm not usually much of a, a napper. I don't usually nap, but um, yeah, I uh, I wouldn't mind having a bit of a nap. No, I don't think I'm going to be doing a nap stream. Uh, I'm pretty sure Twitch says no to that. <laughs> Twitch says no, no, no napping on stream for some reason. I don't know why. Is it why? <laughs> What's wrong with that? I wonder. Um, we may never know. Um, dang, dude. We got. I, let me say some thank yous here. Thank you very much, uh, Churchlight, for the five months. Five months. I'm ready to geo guess. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, I can't wait. Genuinely, I can't wait. Uh, I'm really. Uh, I'm really excited to do some more geo guessing. Uh, Noodle Pop. Thank you for the five months. Happy five months. I've had four hours of presentation time, so I need a break. I know how it is, dude. I know how it is. Uh, the rules recently changed uh, regarding sleeping on stream, so I can finally live the dream of sleeping on stream. All right, guys. Well, stream over, I guess. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if I, if I did genuinely just fall asleep? Right there and then. And I was just like, oh, okay. Oh, all right. Fine. Yeah, okay. We'll watch this. And then I just sleep for eight hours. It'd be an interesting stream. It'd be an interesting stream with, uh, with, um, <laughs> Earthbound on, on loop. <laughs> uh, guys, so, yes, the plan today plan today is to uh, get on down with some more uh, marbles. So whilst I read out some more uh, lovely sub messages, I'm going to let you guys in on a secret. You can join marbles by typing exclamation mark play in the chat right now. If you do that, you'll not do wrong with a skip and a hop. She's one cool Kong. Um, get on in, everybody. Get on in. We're going to do a round of marbles to decide today's ultimate bozo. And then we will get on and play some GeoGuessr. Um, Noodle Pot, thank you for the five months. Happy five months. I've had four hours. Oh, I, I did read that one. Good luck with the, the rest of your presentation, my dude. Goblin Bailey, thank you for the three months. Hope you're having a good Friday. I am having a good Friday, thank you. It's, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty decent one, to be honest. I did some baking. Some filming. The two may be linked somehow. And I've just been, yeah, taking it taking it easy. I've been watching a Donkey Kong Country 2 speedrun this morning. Just because, I don't know, man. I'm really, at the minute, I'm really into watching people speedrun. Oh, I should join as well, actually. Wait, I can't join? Or did I already join? Oh, I already joined. That's why. I'm really into watching uh, speedruns at the minute. For some reason. So, um, yeah. What did I bake? Well, you're gonna have to wait and see, because there may be a video coming. Um, D Domino, thank you for the two months. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, lovely Miss K, thank you very much for the 13 months. Hey PJ, I overslept and missed work, uh, but I get to watch you uh, your stream, so yay. So you don't need to. 
You don't need to go in. You can just stay home. S sounds perfect. <laughs> um, Vavinon, thank you for the eight months. What was already a difficult week has become worse. My partner has COVID. I'm still uh, waiting on test results, so I think uh, I do too. But at least these streams will keep me company in isolation. Dude, I'm very sorry to hear that. That is ultimate suck. But I will be here streaming away getting lost in the world uh for you to to watch and enjoy so uh yeah take care i hope i hope everything's okay um yeah just stay isolated and i don't know what else advice i can give but just uh just be safe stay indoors be safe uh blue slushy thank you very much for the two months yay two months i usually lurk during the streams but i'm glad to be here glad you're here dude uh that's cool if you want to lurk lurk away but if you do happen to be a lurker and you want to get involved in um marbles you still can just type exclamation mark play in the chat and we will let the marbles loose um i lurk streams and you know if there's a marble race happening i'll just i'll jump in and even if i'm not normally commenting it's totally fine i get it i get it uh sketchful thank you very much for the nine months that's a ruby patat just to psa that the sweet potato community is literally the sweetest and most welcoming community uh, group on twitch uh this is the perfect place to raise my new baby patat oh thank you very much dude that is oh so kind of you thank you uh what do you think you'd call your aesthetic my aesthetic oh i don't i don't think i have an aesthetic um i'm just trying to live my life and surround myself with the things i like you know I, w I wouldn't say I have a, a necessarily an aesthetic. Uh, a walk at midnight has asked a question. What did you think of Rise Raising Arizona? Uh, also, uh, thoughts on Valley Girl, if you haven't watched it yet? Uh, I, no, I haven't. I'll, one second. Uh, let me finish this question first. I haven't seen Valley Girl, but Raising Arizona, Raising Arizona, I really enjoyed actually. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's really fun. Been watching some of Nicolas Cage's early films. Tonight it's Friday, so it's also it's Cage Night again. Uh, last night we actually had last white week off of Cage. We watched Black Dynamite instead, uh, which I would recommend if you want to have a giggle and a chuckle. Um, but uh, we watched. Uh, we're gonna be. I don't know what we're watching tonight. Actually, I think we're watching Ghost Rider Two. We're scraping the barrel now, honestly. We've watched all the big hits of Nicolas Cage, so now we're really scraping the barrel with, like, with anything. Whatever, whatever we can find. Um, yeah, scraps. <laughs> scraps, basically. No, we've seen National Treasure. We're, that's already... We've watched that one. There's a National Treasure 2, though, right? Oh, fucking hell, we're gonna have to watch that as well. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we truly are... Watching, uh, watching scraps now. Thoughts on Moonstruck? I enjoyed Moonstruck. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Um, you know, very Italian. Wow. <laughs> very Italian, but I enjoyed it. Wowie zowie, indeed. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the new, the new. We've got a new bit of wow factor on the streams. Uh, usually, you know, reserved for uh, when something amazing happens and you want to throw me a wow, but you know, or you just use it whenever you want. You know, it's up to you. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a new Cage movie. Yes! Um, hello, Matt. I, I, I've I, heard of this one. I've heard it's quite good. I'm going to have to check it out. I, well, I'm watching them all. I have to watch every Cage film, so... Um, yeah. Uh, okay, what, why don't I queue up some music and we'll get this marble race on the road. Uh, last chance to join everybody. Let me uh, let me get some music together. What do we got? What do we got in the in the music uh, section? Uh, I've got a bunch of buttons here. I click the buttons and music comes out. It really truly is just an amazing little uh, process I've got here. Um, I kind of want to listen to like some. What we got what do we got what do we got. Uh, you know what? I've been watching Donkey Kong Country 2 uh, speedruns today, so why don't we celebrate with some Donkey Kong Country 2? I'm feeling it. If you're feeling it, let's get in on this. Uh, it's marbles time, everybody. Last chance to join. You've got 10 seconds. If you want to join this marbles race and uh, be in the running for uh, to be today's ultimate bozo, now is the time. 
Come on, marbles. We're in the long, dramatic story now. How long? How dramatic? Let's find out. The marbles are off. Can you see yourself? Tag yourself. <laughs> you are you. Whoa! A bit of a moving level. Get a bit of a bird's eye view. Whoa! Look at this place! I want a video game just entirely based off of this. This is definitely looks like a Sonic Adventure 2 level. All right, Mug Koa is in the lead, but for how long can they keep this up? There's a long way to go. This is going to be a long, dramatic story. Can you hear those screams of the fallen marbles? They're dropping like flies. I, we need to get in on this action. We need a closer look at what's going on here. Who's going to be the first on the ramp? The long, long ramp down. Who's it going to be? Come on, guys. This ramp has got one of your names on it. My prediction? First person on the ramp is basically going to take it. Anna Lily, followed by Melanie and Sprinkled Sunshine. Oh, there's a collision. The collisions always slow you down. It's Sage taking the outside route. We're following it, Sage. Ooh, nice dodging. Ooh, very nicely done. I'm in a marbles POV right now. It's Sage is safely in front. Someone's going to have to pull something off. Moomin Hug. Too fast, too furious. Lord of the Dirt, though, coming in hot. Oh, in the dark. Scary in the dark tunnel. Very scary. The end is here. Oh, I got, I got to get through. Hold on. Here we go. This is the ending. Is it going to be? I think it might be. Woo! Lord of the Dirt takes it. I don't even know. Oh, it's here. Oh, you got to hit this. <laughs> you got to hit this to qualify. Lord of the Dirt, everybody. Now Lord of the Marbles. I love seeing you just bam, 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 and then flying off into the into the nebula. Come on, everybody, get on in here. Oh, there's me. I see me. Will I do it? Will I at least qualify or will I die? Will I qualify? Bobby, baby, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby Baby's got a brand new uh, system, by the way. I forgot to warn you guys. But I no longer have to activate Bobby Baby. Bobby Baby happens on command. <laughs> so, uh, lovely. There we go. That is the end of the Marbles race. Yeah. So now... Uh, <laughs> When somebody redeems a Bobby Baby, it just happens. The only thing I have to activate now is the uh, the Gil Harmon advert. Well, guys, would you look at that? We did it. We did it. Lord of the Dirt, step forward, please. And I will knight you. Sir Lord of the Dirt. Oh my god! Ultimate Bozo. Do you have any words? Congratulations, I think you've made the right choice, sir. Puppy! Very nicely done, very nicely put. Uh, I will now, using the powers as broadcaster, make Lord of the Dirt today's ultimate bozo. Congratulations. 
bozo. Glad to be here. Glad you're here, dude. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you, everybody, uh, for playing. Thank you very much all for playing. That was a that was a that was a good fun uh, marble race. Nice, clean, fun marble race. This is what happens when you have good, clean fun. Every nobody gets hurt. That's what we're trying to promote here on the Kick the PJ channel. Good, clean fun. Nobody has to get hurt. Nobody has to get hurt if you if you just um, you know if you listen to my demands, my list of demands, which are as follows. I want good, clean fun, and maybe occasional jonks now and again. Um, the occasional jonk, you know, and nobody gets hurt. I realize this sounds like a hostage situation, but you have to believe me, it's not. It is, it is just my, it's just the stream. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Anya the Snow Queen, for the 12 months. I forgot to say thank you earlier. Thank you very much for the one whole year of subs. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Well, how about that, guys? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy that little marble race? Good, clean fun in the multiverse, huh? Speaking of multiverses, um, I have not checked out the new um, Falcon and Winter Soldier movie TV show. Is it good? First impressions, do people like it? Is it a yay or a nay? Because I came off of WandaVision like, hell yeah, give me more of that. Straight into the veins, please. But I haven't checked out um, this new one. Is it good? An anonymous gifter. Thank you very much for uh, for giving us about to uh, our ultimate bozo today, Lord of the Dirt. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Welcome, Lord of the Dirt. Not only are you today's ultimate bozo, but you are now an official sweet patat. It's kind of boring uh, at the start, but we'll see how it goes. Just like my stream. Um, okay, good to know. You didn't really like WandaVision, but you're not a big fan of Marvel. Interesting, okay. Um, not bad, very typical Marvel. Okay. All right, I mean, I'll check it out. It's not like I've got a million things on to watch at the minute. Um, I think the only thing that I'm actually really watching is uh, Shit's Creek. Uh, we we did start uh, kidding, but we haven't had a chance to. As in kid, kidding season two, which I would recommend, by the way, if you haven't seen season one of kidding, there's your homework. Go watch that. But uh, yeah, we're still just watching through Shit's Creek at the minute. We're on season three. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm really liking it. Um, we're sort of storming through it, but then to be fair, there's uh, seasons are quite short. It's like 13 episodes a season, which makes it a lot more manageable. I think I would still uh, enjoy it, um, even if they were longer. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's fun. Very fun. Am I watching any anime? N not at the minute, no. Um, I have to be in a really certain mood to watch anime. I don't know. Uh, I can't, it's... Yeah, I feel like... Weirdly, I've just been into watching, like... <laughs> I just watch a lot of Twitch at the minute because I, I, when I'm working and stuff, I like to have something on in the background, uh, whether I'm working or doing my, my rowing or anything like that. I just uh, I, I don't want to have anything I have to concentrate too much on. I like background stuff. Uh, so I've been watching a lot of Twitch. Um, like I was saying, I've, I've been watching a lot of speedrun stuff. Um, I've been just like re looking up like classic games that I like um, and looking at speedruns of those games. Yeah, I've seen Community before. I enjoy Community. First, uh, first few um, seasons were good. And then I didn't really like it after that. <laughs> Twitch is more personal. I mean, yeah, I guess so. It's nice just to, yeah, it's nice just to watch, um, just watch someone speak. You know, in real time. You're watching Scrubs on Disney Plus. Yeah, they've just added like a bunch of new stuff to Disney Plus at the minute, haven't they? Um, I used to watch Scrubs when it was on TV, but I was never like a super fan. I never loved loved it. I, I don't know if it's something that I would want to rewatch these days. I don't know. I don't know, man. Have I listened to Welcome to the Night Vale? Uh, 
Some of it, yeah. Not all of it. I, I've listened to some of it. I would like to listen to more. Uh, JCS, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Um, but yeah, uh, Scrubs, I don't know if... I don't know, has... I, all these uh, old shows, it's... Yeah, do, they, do these age well now? Surely some of them might not age so well. I don't know. I can't remember if... Did Scrubs do anything, like, particularly problematic? <laughs> Although, to be honest, when I'm watching a show, I definitely can appreciate the sort of the time it was made in. And, uh, you know... Of course, it doesn't excuse certain, like, jokes and bits and stuff. But, um, you know, it's like... I will watch a show acknowledging the time. Maybe appreciate was the wrong word. I will acknowledge the time it was made in. And that will definitely... Um, help <laughs> my understanding of uh, why they may have made certain jokes that they have in certain shows. But yeah. Not gonna lie, I mean, look, as much as I love The Office, I love the, the US Office, there are a fair few, like, lines and jokes and bits throughout the show where I did find myself being like... <sighs> It's, it's, yeah, it's like, it's not even that it hasn't aged well. It's just like, that was never a good joke. Um, you know. <laughs> yeah. But then The Office is about, The Office is meant to be about, like, this, the most, like, unlikable boss ever that you grow to see his likable part. So, it's, it, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen Hilda, but it's been on my radar for years because I got, I remember I, I bought a I bought Sophia a, a graphic novel of Hilda. I went we've got this really nice uh, comic shop in Brighton. And I remember quite a few years back I got the graphic novel. And it was very cool, but I never saw the TV show of it. No, only one marble run a day. I'm afraid. Only one marble run a day. My 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 brain. Slash my computer can't handle it. It's it takes it takes a lot of RAM. Um, my computer's running off of 50 kilobytes of RAM, uh, so I can't have too many marble races. Uh, I'm guessing we're in PJ's house right now. That is where you would be wrong, Charlie. Uh, I've actually I've done uh, a bit of a Charlie is so cool like myself, and I've got um this is all this is a this backdrop you're seeing now. This is a printout. This is a printout. It's not even CGI. This is a printout that I've stuck on a wall behind me. Uh, and maybe I will rip it down at some point. And, um, you know, you'll see you'll see the true uh, studio I am in. No, I do I do not mean to cut you deep, Charlie. I was basically... <laughs> I, I, was, I was diving into YouTube last night. I was going back a long way. And I was watching videos from, like, 2007 on, like, around that era. And I was watching quite a few of your videos, Charlie. Um... In particular, I watched one where you did a dance to the 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 now tune, but I suppose the then tune of your raid song. I guess I didn't realize that uh, it's it was the same. It's the uh, same. Harmon at work. It's the same tune. Redeemed. And a Gil Harmon advert has been redeemed. All right, I'll let Charlie. I'll let you have that information and do with that what you wish. Um, but I'm just saying, so Sophie, last night, it was like 11 p.m., Sophie did ask me, why, why are you watching those videos? I was like, I just want to look at the past. I just want to look at, have a little, uh, uh, put, hold a lens up to the past and enjoy it. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's see, what do we got here? Kate Kate has redeemed a Gil Harmon advert. Well, PJ, if you're not satisfied by your PC's RAM, why not get your hands on a Gil Harmon brand PC? Okay. Now you're talking my language. Now you're talking. Uh, now you're talking my language. Okay, so uh, a Gil Harmon PC, huh? All right. Uh, I've got. Oh, I have. Okay. Yes. Right. Let's go. Hi there. My name's Gil Harmon. Are you sick of using your high-end thread-ripping PCs? Well, look no further than the Gil Harmon computer system. We call it here at Gil Studios, the Gilintosh. The Gilintosh takes all the worst parts of a Mac and a PC and combines them together. You're gonna be 
running smooth on that one megabyte of RAM. And it even has um, a, a fan to keep it cool because when you surf in the web, things might get a little hot. Am I right? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, so get a Gillentosh today. You won't be disappointed. Or maybe you will. I can't really control that. They do burst into flame. Yeah. There you go. The Gillentosh, now available in uh, nearby... N nearby... Uh, <laughs> nearby uh, PC shops. No, don't worry about the flammable thing. There's like a... It'll say something in the... <laughs> It'll say something in the manual about that. You just need to, um, you just need to check, um, with a manual. Sorry, I realized it sounds like I said check the manual. Gil, there's a man called Emmanuel who works for Gil. Check with him first. There is no manual for the Gil in Tosh, unfortunately. Um, not even he knows how it works. Emmanuel now. Emmanuel is the brains behind the operation. Uh, Skelium, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Thank you so much for streaming. Uh, you're actually my comfort whilst I'm at the dentist right now. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Oh, dude, good luck. Wait, you're at the dentist right now? Good luck with the dentist. Um, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I'm saying that to comfort you. I don't know what's going on. You Maybe you're having like a full tooth uh, extraction, in which case I wish you luck. Uh, Green Socks asks a question. What is the worst game you've ever played and why? The worst game I've ever played. The worst video game I've ever played. The worst video game. No, I wouldn't say... No, Subnautica, I wouldn't say... I don't even think that's a bad video game. I just didn't really get on with it. Um, Bug Snacks also... I don't, I don't know if that's the worst... Because that was fundamentally a game. It, it it worked. It wasn't broken. You know, I'm trying to think, like, what is the most broken-ass, horrible game I've ever had the displeasure of playing? I'm just trying to think back. Like, probably something on the Game Boy or something like that way back in the day. So, no, uh, no, 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 I, yeah, I don't, um, the suggestions in the chat are all games I like. No, I love Catherine, I just didn't like streaming that. <laughs> um, could you play Persona? <laughs> could I? Uh, I like that you've used, could, uh, you've used could rather than would. <laughs> um, because I probably would. Whether I could, I don't know, because I, I'm sort of half familiar with what that game is, and it might... It might have a lot of, a lot of dialogue, and uh, a lot of dialogue can sometimes turn me off in certain games. Bloodborne. Wait, we're we talking about games I don't like. We're we talking about the worst game I've ever played. Bloodborne is like one of the best games I've ever played. Uh, worst game you've played on Twitch? I mean, that's probably got to be. I no, I mean, Coffee Talk was not a bad game at all. I really loved what Coffee Talk um, was doing, but I just, uh, I think it was just like it had a main character that I didn't really enjoy. Whereas the whole idea of it and the execution of it and the presentation of it was really cool. I just really didn't gel with that main character. Yeah, I don't know. I honestly can't even think of the worst game I've ever played. No, Kitchen Simulator wasn't bad. I mean. Had a few broken bits, but I don't know. What was Coffee Talk? Coffee Talk was a game where you 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 run like a little coffee shop and people come in and they talk to you about their lives and their problems and what's on their mind. You know, it's, it was just a nice little game. Little Misfortune... Yeah, I, oh man, Little Misfortune. I, I don't know if I was just not in the right headspace to play that. Um... But I, I didn't jam with that either. So may, I mean, maybe that was the maybe that was the worst one I've watched on uh, played on Twitch. It was. Um, I think I was going into it thinking it was something else, and uh, that caught me off guard. And I wasn't really feeling comfortable with some of the themes present in that game. Uh, usually, I'm you know I mean, like I just said, I love Bloodborne. I, I'll run through. 
uh, Yarnum slicing up a load of monsters and, and beasts. But there was something, I don't know, too real about Little Misfortune. Yeah, maybe there's like another situation in which I can play that and it's like, um, it's, you know, I don't know. But I'm probably not going to play it again, to be honest. I watched uh, I watched a clip of uh, Jack Septicai playing it because I wanted to see what his sort of general thoughts on it were. And uh, that was kind of enough for me. I was like, okay, like, cool. I can scrub through this and skip past the bits I don't want to look at. And that was enough. That was like enough. Um, so, yeah. What game do I want to stream? Um, Silk Song. I want to stream Silk Song really badly, but it doesn't exist yet. <laughs> uh, that's the new Hollow. That's the Hollow Knight sequel. In case you're wondering, I really want to stream Pokemon Snap. Is it Pokemon Snap Two or is it just Pokemon Snap? What What is that new Pokemon Snap game called? Super Pokemon Snap? I don't even know what that's called. Um, I want to stream that. I think that'd be really fun. Is it called Pokemon Snap 2? Or just Pokemon Snap? I've streamed Ori. I really... Both Ori games. Masterpieces. Pieces of master. Have I seen the game Way to the Woods? I have not. Should we take a look? Um, let's take a look. Way to the Woods. Oh, I think I... Was this the one... I think maybe... Did Limmy stream this the other day? Or maybe... No, he was, maybe he was streaming something else. Why is Doctor Who here? What's this got to do with it? <laughs> it looks cool. Oh, you know what else? You know what else? I want to stream that cat game. Stray? Do you remember uh, they showed that game Stray? Um, at the PlayStation announcement thing? Um, I don't even know what they call it. The PlayStation Direct. You know when they showed that game where you play as a little stray cat in a world of robots? I don't even know what that game is. And that, I day one, uh, that'll be a day one stream for me. I'll play that on the day it comes out. I don't even care what it is. I want to play as a little kitty cat running around this dystopian city. Um, Yes, I have played Journey. I love Journey. It was really good. Are you going to stream the Scott Pilgrim game on Switch? Uh, I was uh, watching your 2016 vid of it the other day. Um, I don't know if I... Maybe I'll stream it. Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear something really... Annoying? Here's a story. They re-released the Scott Pilgrim game. You know? I think on basically all platforms. Uh, which was, like, so awesome. Like, so great. It's a, it's a great little game, and it deserves to be back available for purchase. Okay? Yeah, good. That is good. So far, so good, all right? Nothing bad here. Seems like a good story, if anything. It's not. I was so excited for this game. I was so excited to replay it, because I, I had it. I mean, I still have it on my original Xbox 360. I got it when it came out, and then it, was, it got delisted, and, like, it was unavailable. I was so excited to play it again. So when, you know, when the day came to play it, uh, I was in this particular situation where, uh, and you know what? I'm going to put this, I'm going to put them on blast. I'm going to, I'm going to name and shame. Not because, you know, I'm not saying don't buy from this place. Uh, but there's a, uh, there's a website called Limited Run Games. There's a website called, uh, they called Limited Run Games. And I, and I ordered the the Scott Pilgrim game from them so I could get like a nice physical copy with like this extra bundle. Oh my god! And it still hasn't arrived and the game came out months ago and it kind of really took the it kind of took the wind out of my sails to, for playing the game. I was kind of like I mean I'll play it at some point but I kind of wanted to play it straight away. Um, and I don't really want to double dip and buy it twice. So anyway, I need to chase on that because it's yeah, it's just not arrived yet, and it kind of sucks. Because you know you want to, I, I like I like what these guys do, and I think I've even bought from them before. Um, no, 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 adding them on Twitter, Mary. No, look, I'll sort it out. I'll contact them. 
I'm just a little disappointed that... Yeah, maybe I misunderstood something. Maybe these packages aren't getting sent out until way later. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it kind of took the wind out of my sails. I was kind of like, oh, okay, I guess I'll play Scott Pilgrim at some point. <laughs> and it's no, it's no longer like, I'm going to play this game the day it comes out. You know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we're here now and we're going to do some dang GeoGuessr. I'm going to jump into the world of, well, this world, and I'm going to try and guess where I am. Sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? It is. <laughs> um, so, I think what I'd like to do is we have got a streak going. We have got a country streak going. So we're going to do a bit, bit of that. Uh, but I want to start with another sweep of United Kingdom. Because that I enjoyed that, trying to figure out where I was. Oh, I did miss some subs. Thank you. Um, let's have a look. Kiwi Parasol, thank you for the 200 bits. Your adverts keep getting better and better. I always laugh out loud. Uh, like, really laugh, not just intense nose breathe. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. I just checked. It says currently in production. Estimated to ship date is TBD. Oh, I see. I think I maybe misunderstood. Um, I thought it was available and ready to go. Maybe when I ordered it, I misunderstood what that was. All right, well, maybe it's my fault then. Maybe I should have read better. Um, Bean Boy, thank you very much for the two months. I've been subbed for two months. Where did the time go? The time, time is slipping away. I'll just let that simmer for a second. Tiny Duck Boy, thank you for the five gift subs. That is oh so kind. Thank you very much, dude. Much appreciated. Um, some tomato soup. Thank you for the six months. Peach, urgent news. I've been subbed for half a year. Uh, thank you so much for the laughs and good vibes. Soup. <laughs> thank you very much, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Lind, thank you very much for the prime sub. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Um, so this is where I want to start. I want to start with United Kingdom, and then we'll do our country streak. Because I was really into this the other day. Wow. <laughs> I was really into this one the other day, and we got nearly full marks. So here's the thing. Can we get full marks today? Let's find out. So what are we thinking, guys? Is Ghana or what? We thinking we might be in Ghana here? I mean, I know we're in the United Kingdom, but... What do we think? Looks like Ghana to me. I think maybe the website's glitched, because this is undoubtedly Ghana. Think bike. Alright, we need to find us we need to find some information here. Fast. I'm getting hungry. My food supplies are depleting. I like to play this game really in character. Uh, I really like to just imagine I'm out in the wilderness by myself. It's an apocalypse, so there's no people. These cars are a figment of my imagination. And my resources are depleting rapidly. <sighs> um, thank you very much to uh, Eighth Reality. Eighth Reality. <laughs> Reality. Thank you very much for the six months. Six? It's half of 12. <laughs> it certainly is. Thank you, dude. Shopun, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, hello, hello. Good vibes, PJ. All the good vibes. All the best vibes. What did this say? Hold on. Accident reduction scheme. Don't call it a scheme. That makes it sound evil. If you have to call it a scheme, we're in trouble, you know? Um... Screaming Egg Yolks asks, was wondering if you will share your famous chili recipe with us. If you haven't, where can I find? If you have, where can I find it? Uh, I've been craving some recently. Uh, I do. I know. I do. <laughs> I do want to share my famous chili recipe with you. Um, I haven't got around to recording it yet, or like making some kind of a record of it. So I've got to make sure I don't die before I, I at least write it down, because um, you know, if I die, that recipe dies with me. So I need to make sure I get it out there. It says UK in the corner. Isn't that cheating? Wait, what? <laughs> what corner? This corner? It says every country in this corner. We're playing you. <laughs> We're playing United Kingdom. Oh, there are cows. Nice. 
We're, we are playing specifically in the United Kingdom. Uh, we're trying to... So I've got five places it's going to drop me in, and I need to figure out where I am. For Long Rake followed Dolly. All right, I'm going to start writing down my clues. I've got my notepad, my pen. Uh, Long Rake. There's our first clue, everybody. Oh, and also, uh, if you want to... Dolo. What did I say? Dolo. If you want to help, you're very welcome to give hints. Please don't Google the answers. Please don't Google things to, like, figure it out because it, like, just... The fun just disappears before our very eyes. So let's try and actually feel like we're lost here. So what are we looking for? Dolo. It's not a real place, but okay. Something streetly. I'm not going to write down the streetly thing. Dolo is enough. Do only live once. Buxton. Ah, okay. Hold on. We're on the A. We're on the A6020. Hang on. This is an important factor. A60. So, okay. The fact that we're not too far from this is a good thing. A6. So, uh, we're near Buxton. And Ashford in the water. Ashford in the water. I don't, so I don't know where these places are. Except Buxton does sound familiar. Is that Derbyshire? It is. Okay. Buxton in the water. No, it's not Buxton. Sorry. Ashford in the water. It used to be uh, just Ashford. And then the Great Flood happened. I could have sworn I just saw a sign. Has that sign just disappeared? Am I, go am I losing it? No, there is no sign. I thought I saw a sign on this side. Okay, never mind. Um, Evie Hellfire, thank you for the four months. Happy Fridays. Four months, my dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying seeing me lost in the world. I wanted to set up a little a little meme where it said, where in the world is Kick the PJ? But I didn't have time. So um, just imagine it and I'll have it for next time. So what do we got here? Chatsworth. Chatsworth. And what is that? Some kind of a... That's like a manor or something. Something I could probably look out for on the map. Pilsy. Pilsy B B seventeen bomber. Um, that's a home, some kind of home. Yeah, feels like it. And what do we got here? Chatsworth Estate Farm Shop, Devonshire Arms, Pilsy, Chesterfield, Sheffield. This way. Okay, so what? We're near Sheffield. Uh, I'll write down Chesterfield. I'll write down Sheffield. Let me see. Do we have enough information to go off here? The Devonshire Arms. Sounds like it could be a pub. Devonshire Arms. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start looking for the... What's this? A, A619. I'm going to start looking at the A619 and see if we can kind of get a general idea of where we are. So that's Sheffield. Uh, let me make this a bit bigger. All right, where in the world am I? A... Uh, there's Chesterfield. Ugh, I don't like being... I don't like being just on the road here. I'm closer to Derby. There's Birmingham, Stoke-on-Trent. Where's Where's Derby again? I haven't been to Derby for a long ass time. There it is. Um, Greeny Beanie, thank you for the three months. Uh, whoop! Hope everyone's having a good day. Thank you very much, dude. I hope you're having a good day. So I'm looking for the A. The A6020. 
That's the A61. Oh my god! <laughs> but I'm struggling to find it. That's the M1. The actual Chatsworth estate is in a movie location category. Ooh, how exciting. That, wait, there's a movie location category? That sounds fun. We should try that afterwards. Um, a, A610. God, I really suck at finding these roads. A61. I need the A619. There we go. So, Sheffield Road. Did we see that? No, we didn't. We just saw Sheffield. Okay. Well, here's the uh, Never End. Oh, my God. Well, here's the A619. I don't know how long this is, but um, this may be... This may be somewhere near where we are. Peak District Escapes. Now, it just makes me wonder, are we, is this the road we are in fact on right now? If I could find... Hmm. So what's down here? Some kind of... Let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning. And I'm going to try the other direction and see if I can find anything... Anything like a... Something to look out for, basically. Like a pub, an inn, <laughs> anything. Look for the road with the 13 bends. <laughs> Alright, what's this sign saying? What are you saying? Chesterfield is... So if I'm looking north, Chesterfield is north. Sheffield is north. So I'm, I'm south of Chesterfield then. Bealey and Ro Rosley and Matlock is south. So I'm in between all of that. I mean, I must be on this road, right? Well, there's Matlock. Rousley. Chatsworth House. Was that something I saw? Yes, Chatsworth Manor. Or I wrote Manor, but Chatsworth House is here. So... I'm somewhere in this area, I think. I think. Here's the A6020. And here's the A619. I wonder if I'm somewhere... Well, this is a very bendy road. But this is like a B road. Oh, wait. Farm shop. Did I see a farm shop? I saw something that said farm shop, didn't I? So that if that weighs the farm shop... I just need to kind of get an idea of whereabouts I am. This is exciting. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really enjoying it. Um... I might be on this road. I have a feeling I might be on this road. I'm going to keep going. If I can get to Michael Michaels of Baslow, then maybe I'm on this road. Isn't that the intersection where you were before? Uh, here? This may be, yes. The farm shop... Ah, yeah. And then if I went down there, maybe if I kept going, I would have seen the farm shop. But there was just that one house. You know what? I think we this actually might be the road we're on. I'm going to go a little further. So then you come to the end of this. In theory, if I'm correct, it would be here. And then down this way, we would expect to find... Haddon Hall. Haddon Hall?! Hmm. Let me try and look for this Michaels of Baslow. What is that, a shop? Is it going to have an outlet or something? I don't know. What's this sign saying? The Great Antiques Fair. June? Is that June of last year? I think we've missed it, guys. Alright, Michaels, where you at? Hmm. So, in theory, that's, I think that this is all of this. Hard to tell exactly. Hmm. 
Mm, I might, I might, this might not be as correct as I'm thinking. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what I'm going to do. It might be this. Maybe let me keep going and see if I can find this co-op Baz, uh, Basler. Yeah, I feel like, and there's a bridge that goes into potentially a town. Oh, is that that bridge? <laughs> is that that bridge? <laughs> Avant-garde of Basler. There we go. All right, that's that bridge. Perfect. Right, we are very close. So we know where roughly we are. Now we need to find exactly where we are. I want to try and beat my previous score of, what was it, 24,904? So we can't make any mistakes here. So I think we can confirm that this is the road somewhere along here is where we started. Now, let's try and return to the start. Let's see. Hmm. It's going to be hard to figure out exactly where we are here. Hmm. So I travel down this way a bit. And then I, uh, I come to a sign that says about a bend. So that could be the sign. That could be the, uh, the sign that says that there's a bend. The joys of perfectionism. We need to be as perfect as possible. Yeah, if we could find the water, that would be great. Um, I'm trying to, like... I can't see any water. So there's a bend. Oh, God. This is going to be a nightmare. Um, then it goes along a bit. So if that, was, if that, in theory, was the first bend, it goes along, and then what, another bend? Oh, hang on a minute, what's this? This is like a field of some kind with a house out there. Field with a house? Can I get a field with a house? That's probably that. So if that was that, I would be here right now, looking sort of, well, roughly here, looking out of that house. I'd be, although it's not actually from a bend, or I'm not looking at it from a bend. Maxis, thank you for the 10 months. Sorry, was ordering food and doing laptop repair. Uh, if you're looking for games to play, you should tr uh, play Earthbound, one of my favorite games ever. Earthbound could be cool. Um, Earthbound, uh, yeah, I was actually close to that other uh, intersection, wasn't I? Kind of start. Uh, it'd be cool to play Earthbound, because then you can see like all the things that inspired. Okay, so if I go straight, 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 straight with a slight bend, Straight, straight, straight. Big bend. Straight, straight, straight. What was that? Uh, we maybe around there then. So we go there. We take a left, but oh, this is, that's not really. Oh, maybe, maybe that's this bend. Then we go around a bit more. No, nope, because then there's another. Okay, that bend I think is where we just went. I don't think we're gonna be able to be. Um, and then we got this as well. I don't know how exact I can be here, guys. This is a really tricky one. Um, I'm going to take... I think I might just take a guess here. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to be too exact here. Which is a shame. But you know what? That's the aim of the game. That's the name of the game. You know, this happens. This can happen. Quirk Twerp. Thank you very much for gifting us up. Uh, to Binwa. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Um, what do you think, guys? Here or a bit? Maybe a bit further down. It's so it's so hard to know. Further down to the left, maybe like there. Although I'm not really starting near. It, there's a bend. I can hang on. Let me return to start. I can see a bend. I'm, I start near a bend, and then I go straight. So, I start. if the bend I'm starting near is that, then I guess maybe here? Or do you think all the way over here would make more sense? Because I'm clearly starting near a bend that goes south. 
Maybe that would make sense then. And then you go down a bit, you veer left. That's what, yeah, the only thing I was thinking is, it, does it curve the wrong way? Maybe not, no, because uh, we're facing north right now. So if you imagine that, and it's going off to our left and then south a bit. So to the left and then south a bit. This feels about right, you know. This might be it. This might be it. Should we give it a shot? I did try looking for a river, but I think it's hidden somewhere over the bank or something. I don't. We can't quite see the river, unfortunately. So I might just go for this. All right, let's do it. Oh, rats! Oh, we were we were 795 yards away. Okay, so it was actually this was our starting position. That's all right. No worries. No worries, it happens. We just need a perfect score for the next four. No, that is an, that's still an absolute win. Like, considering we are just, like, in the middle of nowhere, um, I'll take it. All right. Yesterday we dropped... Oh, no, yesterday, the day before, we it dropped us in a museum. Uh, just, like, literally in a museum in Scotland that we couldn't escape from. So it, you anything can happen. All right. God, what's this horrible lay-by? Ugh! Why am I here? Great. Pile of dirt. Does anyone know any piles of dirt in the UK? Where are we here? Why are we here? Why are we here? Just to see. Yes, we are. Just oh, not another one of these roads! Ugh. I will not be defeated. What's this sign say? Welcome to Thaxted. Historic town. Alright. Thaxted. I'm not going to write historic town. I'll be the judge of that. So I guess we're just outside of Thaxted. Wherever the hell that is. Never heard of Thaxted. <laughs> Designer hats for hire and sale. Anyone need to hire a designer hat? Goodard's Farm. Goodard's Farm. G and A. Okay. But all right, let's try and find a bit more information about where in the country we are. Um, what's that? Dun Dunmau? Dunmau? Samford? Haverhill? I don't know where any of these places are. Um, is that Danmau? I've never heard of that place before. B184. <laughs> Absolutely made up. Uh, Alright, and then Samford. Off to the left there. On the B1051. And have a hill. B1057. Alright. Have a hill is Essex. Essex, you say? Okay, so we're down in that area. Recruiting now. Thatcher's Grange. Great Samford. Have a hill. Saffron. Okay, this is quite helpful, actually. Can I see... Can I get a better view of that? Okay, I'm going to draw the signs to help me. So, Saffron, Walden, six miles that way, and Thaxted, half a mile that way. So, we're cl much closer to Thaxted. I want to be done with this one, so I can stop saying Thaxted. And then Dunmau. Oh, it's okay. It's Dunmau, not Danmau. Historic village. Saffron Walden is one place. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so, seven miles to Dunmau. Alright, well, let's have a look then in the Essex area. And, uh... 
try and get an idea of where any of these places are. So we're looking for... Yeah, Thaxted. If anyone can uh, spot that at all. Hmm. Um, Malden. No, 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 no. Brain tree. Dude, I'm going to brain tree. Sounds amazing. Where exactly is Essex again? <laughs> I feel like I'm a little off here. In the middle? Uh, from Chelmsford, where is it? North? Brain tree? Have I gone too far? from Chelmsford. Oh, Great Dunmow. Hold on. That was something we were looking for. So, in this area... Ugly Green! Duck End. Bran End. Bran! Uh... Top of the page. Great Samford. We were looking for just regular old Samford. Nothing great about it. Thaxted. Got ya, you bastard. Thought you could escape me. Okay. So we've we've generally pinpointed our area. If we could find that farm. Uh, we might also, we might be on the B184. Maybe. But we also might not be. There's a bed and breakfast. If I can find the farmhouse inn, we didn't see that, did we? No. We might also not be on the, this road. Goodard's farm also might not be marked on the map. Hmm. Thaxted Yoga? <laughs> I thought that said Turd Master Direct. <laughs> Hats for Hire? That wouldn't surely be on the map, would it? Wait, did you see it on the map? Hold on, have I just passed an important nugget of information? We didn't see hats for hire, did we? Or are you just saying that you just... I'm assuming the hat shop is not marked on the map. Because if I'm going to hire a hat, I'm not going all the way out into the middle of fucking Thaxted. <laughs> yeah, that, that maybe... It, yeah, it might be on here, maybe. I might also be north of this. It might be up here this way. Oh, Proud's Farm. There's a bus route there. Don't know if that helps. Fruit Farm. Mm, that's not. That's Grace. How big is the B? Oh god, it's huge. The B184. Thaxted Road. Yes, I am half a mile from Thaxted. That is good to know. Um, Alicia Place, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you. Welcome to the uh, Sweet Potato community. I've gone too far. I've hit 
I've hit this city. I've gone way too far. What type of occupation would a hat do? I do not understand the question. I'm out of touch with the civilian world. I've been living out in the fields for too long, ma'am. This is what happens. Um... Uh, let me go back to the start. Hold on. I need to find. I think I need to find a more reliable um, uh, point of interest. You know, I don't think the hat shop is going to appear on the map. I think I need to find something like a bed and breakfast, which there there will be one out here, because you don't come all the way out to Thaxted and you know stay on the side of the road. You find yourself a nice little humble. Pr was that Proud's cottage? Hold on, Proud's. We saw Proud's. Activate lubricants. I'm very interested in what this place is, but we have not got time for that. Um, we saw Prouds. Something Prouds. We saw that. Where are you gone? There was a Proud's farm. Yes, there was. Which makes me feel like we must... There we go. Proud's farm. But that might not actually be what this is. This is Proud's cottage. I mean, it also might be what this is. So let's have a look. So what do we got here? We've got a little cottage. We've got one here. Got something else there. Uh, which I guess might be those two buildings, if this is it. So let me go a bit further up the road and see if I... I might be here right now. Let me see if this Proud's farm is up here. Hmm. Can anybody read that? <laughs> Can anybody read that sign? That might be that building. With another one back there. Ooh, or maybe not, though, because then... So what's that? That would be, I guess, that. Okay, let me go a fit bit further up, and if this is the road, I will eventually get to uh, Tindon End. Let's have a look. Do we get to a, a turn-off? It says Updog. Now, why would a sign say Updog? What does that even mean? What's this? Yardley Hall Lane. Ah! Ha, ha. We might have found it, guys. So if that's Yardley Hall Lane, then this must be... Um... Tindon End Road. Can these kids move, please? This... I'm... I'm geo-guessing right now, and you're in the way of a potential sign. <laughs> Alright, can we go much further? We cannot. I can't tell... I can't know for certain that this is Tindon. But that looks like it's... I think, I'm pretty sure. This? I'm pretty sure we're standing right here right now. Or... Yeah, well, now I'm pretty sure we're standing right here. I think. Which means we're standing opposite a house or a building. Yeah. Or just off to a building. Alright. Uh, there's a bus stop and there's a bus. Enough said. Uh, true. Bus stop. Bus. Although the bus stop would be... South of me right now. I saw no... I saw no bus stop. Wait. That doesn't make any... Does that make any sense? Because there's no bus stop down here. And also, I mean... Yeah, I don't want a bus to stop here. Get flattened. Um, but there is a bus stop... Mm, no, that's not... That's that's not a bus stop. That's more of a... That's a lamppost. Um, but there is a bus. I thought I was... I thought I had it. And now I'm unsure as to what it even was I had in the first place. So if I keep going, let's see, what's this? 
something end farm. So if I kept going, will I hit the that farm? I'm not seeing it. That feels like something that would be marked on the map. Hmm. How strange. The map did say there was a car park in the middle of a field the other day, so I might, it might be wrong. True. That is very true. It's just I'm not seeing any of this stuff out here. Pandemonium? Have they just called their house Pandemonium? We just want to be different from the other houses. Welcome to Pandemonium House. I mean, there are ch little clusters of houses, which would lead me to believe this lay-by I don't think would actually appear on the map. No. Well, hang on a minute. Let me... One more time. Let me go up to where I think... I, I think... I, whilst I'm not seeing any bus stops... Or maybe... Would this... No, this is not a bus stop. Well, um... What an odd place to have a house. Like, these windows... If you stuck your head out the window... <laughs> To have a, to to feel the nice breeze of air against your hair in the mornings, there's a good chance a car could come whizzing past and take off your head. Is this a bus stop? It says no. No what? No waiting for a bus here. It's dangerous. The thrill. <laughs> That's the thrill. I need to wake up. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. I mean, this bend would indicate the bend we're on now. In theory, that is this bend. I might just go for it, guys. I might take a chance. I might take a chance. So let's have a look. If this house is potentially this house... To get back to the beginning, I need to go up. This is a tricky one. It's not even a chance the farm is totally right. You think? Well, this is the lay-by where we started. What is that? So there's like another field here, but this is not marked. This is like nothing. Walden Road. So in theory, we are... Let's have a look. If there's a... That we see a bit of a bend there, and a bit of a bend there, which would actually be... If that's that bit of a bend south of us, then north of us is that bit of a bend, although it's going the wrong way. I don't think I've got this one right. Um... But I think I'm just going to go for it because this one's really tricky. Um, if this in, if this is where we are, I think this is where we are. Further down the road? What, further down up this way? Or further down this way? Sorry, that that's south. Like, more closer towards... Or do you mean like, oh, here, maybe? Because then that bend would be this. And this bend would be... That, I guess. You think this is it? Alright, we're gonna go for it. Here we go, guys. Believe in the heart of the cards. Let's go for it. Boo! Ooh, only 17 yards off. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. 4,999 points. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take it. It's not the full 5k, but I'll take it. Where are we now? Oh my god. 
Uh, Wands has asked, any new merch ideas or plans uh, in the uh, at the minute? Uh, my sad ghost cap is uh, in daily use. It just fits so well. Much comfy. Very cool. Thank you very much, dude. Um, do I have any more? I just realized as well, the Twitch alerts need to be like over here. Hold on. Uh, I've got some ideas, yeah. But I um, I haven't really started working on them properly yet. Uh, but uh, at some point, I would like to make some more uh, things for my shop. All right. New area. What's this sign say? Oh, great. It says nothing. <laughs> Unless that's the back of the sign. Oh, it was the back of the sign. <laughs> Warning. If you are playing GeoGuessr, stop right now. Or you will be visited by a little ghost in the night who will eat all of your spaghetti. All right, what do we got? What's this road? At least, oh, we have a road name. Perfect. Hen Park. God, these road signs need to be fixed up a bit, don't they? Oh, you don't want me to see the road sign? Where am I? Where am I? Where did I go? Where did... Uh, baby Star, thank you very much for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. And also, Cameo, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, okay, I'm going to write this down then. Hen Park Lane. This is our first clue. First clue of many, I hope. We know the road we're on, but where are we? Wales? Is that the Welsh flag? I'm going to write Wales, question mark. All right, great. We're in Wales. Does anybody see Hen Park Lane? <laughs> Uh, all right, we need to, uh, we're in this general area. Oh, God. All right, let's find some more information. Let's try and find exactly where we are. It's like we're doing some, like, house viewing, say, like, house shopping, looking for where we want to live. Well, this place is just far too remote for me, darling. Far too remote. Although I like the cows. How much for just the cow? You want just the cow and not the house? Yes, I'll just take the cow, please. Wow, they really do not want me to look at whatever this is. Yep, and that's as far as we go. <laughs> All right, return to start. So let's try this way. This is just, this is a nightmare. What is this? Are we on a golf course? No. What is this? Or are we on a golf course? Hole five? No, surely not. Public footpath. Wait a minute. We are on a golf course. Golfers. All right. I think we are on a golf course, which makes this... 10 times more annoying uh, because now I need to. Oh, Jesus. All right. We might not be, though. I'll keep an eye out. Let's keep going. Oh, uh, we had such a perfect streak yesterday. I don't think that's going to happen again. So the warning sign is warning watch for golf balls, probably. Warning you are approaching the confines of a golf course. Please be aware of the danger of golfers crossing and flying golf balls. You just need to say beware of the golf balls. You don't need to, what, beware of the golfers. What, are they going to attack me? Yes, they get very angry if you go near them. Okay. So we are, in fact, on a golf course. Hen Park Lane. So we're definitely... That's a certainty. We are... Near or on Hen Park Lane. Do we have a name of the golf course? Plant Nursery. What's this? Uh, Gower Wild Flower Center. Gower Wild Flower Center. 
Oh god. Um <laughs> Is Gao replace? I can't pronounce this next one. Canal fan Badao? Uh Gwilt? Gwit something. Oh god. Oh god. Gwyn? Gwilt Gwyn? Well, there's a cafe nearby. Cafe, plant nursery, and produce shop. Okay, so we're looking for a, a cafe on a golf course. What's this? Farham Court. Farham Court, kennels, and cattery. Now, okay, this might help narrow things down a bit. Oh man, I can't imagine. So a cattery is, uh, yeah, for anyone who's not aware, I guess it's where you can leave your, uh, obviously a kennel and is where you leave your dogs if you're going away, and a cattery is where you can leave your cat if you're going away. If I was going away, I cannot imagine taking, I mean, it works for some people, fair enough, but I cannot imagine leaving Fuji in a cattery. I just can't, like, I would much rather just have a friend stay at my house for as long as I'm away and just look after her. Like, thankfully right now I'm not really traveling, but I don't know, ma'am. That's the thing that makes me sad about Fuji is that I unfortunately, unlike a dog, I can't really take her with me if I was to go somewhere on a little trip somewhere. Like, it just doesn't make sense to take her. She's not the kind of cat who uh, would like that. Trust me, I know. I know some cats have the uh, the patience for that. Fuji does not. So, um, Gawa. Are we looking for a town named Gawa? Is this like a... How big is Wales? Oh my god. I feel like I don't have enough to... I mean, I, I don't know Wales very well. I've only been once. Uh... I went to Cardiff when we did a space trip show. Um, so there's obviously a lot of uh, whales I don't know. But if anyone can point me in the right direction, if we have any native Welsh people in the chat who might know. South Wales? Let's have a look. The Mumbles! I want to go to the Mumbles. South Wales. How south are we talking here? Near Barry? To the west? I'm kind of looking for for Gower. Gower Goa? I, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Um, Gwilt Gwyn as well. We could be looking for Gwilt Gwyn. Parks. Oh, this is a really tricky one. Uh, the mumbles was close. Oh, the Gower Golf Club. Could this be it? Maybe. Although I haven't actually seen a sign for the golf club itself. And I would be willing to bet there's more than one golf course out here. It's like so much land. Uh, but if we can find the... If we can find the kennel and the cattery, that might put us in a good position.
Although, saying that, I guess if we can find Hen Park Lane, that would be, uh, that would be big. That would be very big if true. Uh... <laughs> yep, flower shop as well. Come on, Hen Park Lane, where you at? Where are you hiding? This might, yeah, this... Considering we're not seeing... Oh, there's a plant center. But this was a plant nursery slash cafe slash produce place. Ooh, this might not be the right uh, golf course. Got the coast here. Oh, it said plant center somewhere? Let's have a look. Let me put my marker there for a minute. Just to remind me of where we're at. Let's go... Was this the way? Let's go back. Uh, Gower Wildflower Center. You would... That would... I would imagine would definitely be on the map. That is so specific. The only place around... I mean... I suppose we've got a golf course and then we've got a... Where's it gone? My child's birthdays look at UK. What? <laughs> Where's it gone? The plant center. This feels so far away from the golf course, though. Yeah, this almost doesn't feel like this is the right one. There must be another golf course. Fairwood Park. No, that's... It... It, I believe it will be... See, there's loads of golf places, but this is Langland. That ain't right. That ain't right. Wide, wildflower? Where's Wildflower? Hang on a minute. Uh, wildflower Cafe. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the Cattery. Oh, no, it does! Oh, we're here! Right. This is good. And Hen Park Lane. And there is the house at the end of the road. Okay, guys. Here we are. Oh, my God. Here we go. Let's get it. Right. So, back to the beginning. If I go down here a bit, there's that sign and there's the house. So, let's have a look. I feel like we were around here. Because there's a big bend going off, which would be that. And so let's have a little look here then. Guys, good detective work. Uh, so up to one bend, up to a second bend, and then you can see the house from that bend. Oh my god! Which would be here. So up to one bend, up to the second, and then you can see the house from that bend. So I feel like we are here then. Here-ish. I mean, that's just ge GeoGuessr, isn't it? Ish. <laughs> Everything's just a bit ish. We're here-ish. Toasty! Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, let's go for it. How many yards off are we? Let's find out. Ooh, 26 yards. No. All right, well, we still got the 4999. Nearly full points. We nearly got the maximum points. I'm happy with that. That was round, I think, three. On to round four. Oh, my God. Give me a city or something. <laughs> I'll take the museum over this. <laughs> right. Let's get to work, folks. Heavy plant crossing. Heavy vehicle turning. Where am I? Where are we? Kamada. Let's see what these vans say. You got any information for information me? Uh, Whitefield. I think we're in Whitefield. Don't know where Whitefield is, but we're there.
Scotland. We're back in Scotland, everybody. Now the problem here is that these this is, looks like it's constru like a construction site, which I don't know if that's going to be on the map properly or not. I don't know how the satellites work exactly. What are you doing? Hard at work. Right. So we're in Scotland somewhere. We're near a lake. So if we're near water, we're either in Dundee, or we're back here again near Edinburgh. Or actually, what am I talking about? There's loads of what? No, I can't. I can't possibly whittle it down that easily. As I zoom in, I notice there is actually a lot more little uh, bits of water. But that is quite a substantial uh, river looking thing down there. Oh, it's a lock. Sorry, it's a lock. Hmm. If we can get a general idea of where we are. Uh, and just as a reminder, guys, of course, hints and help is welcome. But please, please don't be tempted to Google. I know it is tempting to just Google the answers. But please do not. It's way more satisfying when we all just figure it out using... There are so many of us that we can work this out together using all the little nuggets of information. With all the signs and your guys' knowledge of living in um, Ghana... We will. We know when we are and when when we're not in Ghana. This one's a nightmare, though. All right, we come up to a road. The road is not signposted, and this is beautiful, though. God, look at this! Imagine driving along this. Ignore all this like mud, <laughs> but there's like a little, uh, maybe a bit of sand and some rocks and a boat. This is beautiful. <laughs> um, Zuzu has asked, how's the gardening been going? Are you planting any new plants? Uh, we're not planting just yet. We're starting by ripping out all of the old stuff, of which there is a lot of ivy and uh, thorn bushes and all these things that have to go. This weekend, actually, I'm planning on... I've got a, um, <laughs> a miniature chainsaw, <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, planning on uh, going at some of these really problematic uh, stumps in the garden that need to go until I can actually properly dig them out, which I'm not going to be able to do. I don't know how I'm going to go about that, but I'm going to cut them down because I keep worrying that Fuji's going to hurt herself on one of them. Because she jumps from the fence and she always jumps near the stump. Magnificent development opportunity. We will pay you an exposure. Whoa! Oh my god. Look at that. What James Bond villain lives here? My god, that is beautiful. With the view as well? Oh my god, I'm jealous, man. Even this little place. <laughs> Even this little place is, uh, you know, I mean, maybe it's not as grand as that one, but it's like so remote and it's like, I mean, I, th I have a feeling these are connected, actually. I have a feeling that whoever owns that also owns this one, actually, because I've just noticed that the gates go through there. Um, can I, I can't read that. Is that something pork house? Sour pork house? Sour something park house? Can anyone read that? South Park House. That one makes more sense. South Park House. Is there a South Park in 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 Scotland? Do we know? Whoa. The railway the the railway convalescent home. 
Okay, I'm going to write it down. It might not be on the map, but the railway convalescent home. Is that what that says? All right. I don't even know what's going on there, but what an entrance. Is that whole entrance just for this little house? Oh, no, it's for that. So, okay, yeah, this seems like a thing. Um, somebody will own this, and this this will be like their, their outhouse or something, and then this will be like another little house they own. But, wow. And what a view. These little ones are cute as well. Look at that. They could probably do with... Oh, this is empty. This is a... Sorry, I'm getting really distracted. I should be, like, trying to find where I am in the world. And I'm just like, look at these beautiful houses. Um, this needs a lot of work in the garden. This is like a classic Sims house. This is like a default Sims house. So, you'd buy it with all of your all your simoleons, and you'd have no money to do up the garden or to furnish it. Just like real life. <laughs> um, okay, where are we? Stepped into a European country here. Look at this. Wow. It's like a chapel with Christmas lights. Where am I? Well, we're clearly in a very uh, wealthy little area. And we are near water. If I can just find a sign... It gives me a clue of sort of what city we're in or like where, what town we might be in. I wonder if South Park is a thing. And also we've got Whitefield as well. Whitefield was the... Um, the bus stop doesn't really seem to... I mean, it's, it's really hard to zoom in on it. It doesn't seem to give us any clue uh, of where we are. I kind of want to move to Scotland. <laughs> oh, what's this? Chandler's Hotel. I was wondering what he did after Friends finished. He moved to Scotland and started a hotel business. Chandler's Hotel. Luxury accommodation. Open to non-residents. Oh, okay. So if you live here, but you want to get have a little getaway... Get fucked. What's this guy doing? Hello! He's waving at the Google car! <laughs> Hello! Chandler's Hotel. Choice of ten evening. Meals at nine pounds. As soon as you use an at symbol to just say at... You lose a lot of my um, respect. Bed and breakfast from thirty-five pounds. Fair prices. That's Chandler. Graphic design is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> Graphic design is my passion. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, we don't really have enough. At least not, you know. Of my knowledge, we don't really have much here. Because I'm not actually sure if South Park is even a place in Scotland or if that's just the name of that house. They just called it that because they wanted to. Because also, we are when we look over here, we're looking at more land. So when we, we're not on the coast, unless we're here, but I don't, we're literally not here. Also, I think I, I know what John and Groats looks like, and this ain't it. Um, so, I feel like we're probably, like, somewhere like this, or somewhere like... I mean, we could also, we could also be, like, here, or here, or, you know. Could be the islands. Maybe... Hmm. I mean, if you're gonna live in one of those super mansions, then 
Out here is the place to be. Super remote. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep seeing if I can find any more information. Um, Non-residents would make sense for islands too. Oh, yeah. I suppose if it's saying like... Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. God. Uh, oh, hello. What's this? What's that sign say? Hold on. Ass... Ass cog. <laughs> okay, so we're somewhere near Ass cog and... What's this one say? Mintford? Muntford? I don't know. M something... Muntford. I'm from southwest of Scotland and didn't recognize those names. Mm. Got some places for sale here. Any information? Butte? Butte? Mm, that'd be the name of the letting agency, right? But is Butte... Um, is Butte anything else? Is that a place? It's an island? Ooh. So if Butte is an island, that does narrow things down. Oh no, that's rum. I thought that was Butte. Sky. Further south. Why can't I see boot? Mm -mm. Is it here? Oh, Sander Island. God, those those little places. Imagine being on one of these little places. More inland. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh, Butte! Oh, nice! Okay, this this helps a lot. This narrows things down. Can anybody see anything we've seen so far? Do we see South Park or Whitefield or anything? I might need to zoom in a bit more. Ascog! Ascog. So, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, folks. We're getting somewhere. So, um, where do we even begin here? Because we basically started, like... Hmm... What was the other one? Muntford? 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 If Ascog is there... I don't even see... The other side of that sign saying uh, Muntford, I don't even see where that's meant to be. Does it show the hotel? What was the hotel called again? It was... Um, uh, Chandler's Hotel. Yeah, right. Let's try and find Chandler's Hotel. And it was kind of just along... Sort of along the coast, wasn't it? Hmm. Abandoned Quarry. Interesting. I missed it? Where's my boy Chandler at? Chandler. Where you at? Chandler's! Yeah, there we go. Alright. So that's not where we started, but... That's something. We have something now. We have something to go off of. Also, Millbank. Is that a thing? 
Oh, these, these roads aren't even... Oh, Montford. There we go. Well, there's that place. We figured out the missing uh, vowel. It was O. Uh, right, okay. So, some kind of gardens. Let's head back in this direction. I can't remember how far we had to go. I can't remember what was the last other thing we saw. Um... There's a bus stop. Now, the issue I'm having here is that it seems like a lot of these properties aren't even registered on the maps. Like, you see that there should be houses marked here. These big old, big fancy houses. They're not even on the map. There's bus stops, though. We can follow the bus stops. So let's get back to Chandler's and follow the bus stops as far as we can go. All right, Chandler, where you at? Where's my boy Chandler? Was he? Have we passed it already, or was it? Was it? This place is for sale. Have I gone too far? Every house is private. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that would make sense. If that is the case, then it's gonna make things a slightly more difficult. Cows. I think we've gone too far. I think. Um, Chandler's... Yeah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, how many bus... How many buses? So there's quite a few buses, actually. Is it going to really help me to go all the way? Is it going to help me to follow the bus routes? Not really. Balmori? I don't remember seeing any of these roads. Balmori Road? I don't remember seeing that. Unless that's like one of these. Oh, Jesus. Nothing here is marked. Can you find the river crossing? The river crossing? Uh, what do you mean? As in like... So I guess that's the... Uh, that's what we're looking out at there. That will be sort of that. Um... But I, we, 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 whoa, whoa, hello, <laughs> hello, um, yeah, uh, oh, hello, why is my voice going weird, hello, 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 am I going weird for anyone else, or is that my headphones being funky, my voice feels like it's going, like, left to right, or is that just me, the Blackburn one, thought, uh, I'm good, all right, thank you, Blackburn. Oh, Blackburn, right. So we need, we want to find sort of where this is generally then. Okay. Because that could help give us a sense of direction as well. So what would that even be? A, a river that goes under the road? How does that even work? Turn into a little bridge for a second? What are you? Mount Stewart. I want a mountain named after me. All right, Mount Stewart. Oh, this is a this is a real tough one. And then we've got I don't even know what we're looking at here. We've got like a bunch of houses. In really interesting place though. I feel like GeoGuess is helping me like appreciate. Um. All these places I didn't know about. Yeah, I'm going back to the beginning. So what do we see here? All right, we are actually right by some kind of a... We might be around here. Maybe. That would indicate that we're near a, a golf club, though. I don't see... Wait, did we go... Which way did we... We went down... Th I, did we... Is this... I can't... I, I can't even remember if we've been both ways here. But I can check out up here. Or is this the one that wouldn't let us go any further? I can't remember. I always forget how much I've explored. Hmm. But yeah, we are... Um, we are starting near water. What's this sign saying? Oh. Um, 
Ah, golf course. Hello. So this... Okay, so this is a golf course then. So we are actually... I think we are down here somewhere. Somewhere. No on the course. No, they've blurred it out, but... I'm assuming that says something like so, like no wanking or something. No wanking on the course. Um, you know what these fancy rich people are like. Oh, no wanking on the golf course, please. We're trying to play golf here. <sighs> Get over yourself. Uh, all right. So there's a sheep field. I wonder if that is. Maybe that. Heathens, the lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I might just, I think I'm just going to take a guess on this one. Well, we, actually, we are near a sort of a fork in the road. So we're either by, that is either that fork, although it looks more like this to me. It looks more like it goes north and then, well, I mean, let's have a look. Is there a fork here followed by another fork? Let's find out. If there's another fork, which there is... Right, I think we've done it. I think we've figured it out. I think... We are here. How far from the fork are we? We were actually quite close to it. I think this is exactly where we are. Yeah. Forking marvelous. I think this is it, guys. Holy shit. We're on an island called Butte off of Scotland. I was not expecting to have any luck with that one, but I think this might be it. This was a very, yeah, this was a really pretty place to go searching around. I'm very happy we've managed to come here, uh, even if it is just digitally. Let's guess. <sighs> Six yards away, baby. 5,000 points. It gives us the full 5K. Congratulations. I think you've made the right choice, sir. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Maybe I would go on holiday yet yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, I know I'd be staying. I'd be staying at Chandler's. I'd be like, I'd, ro I'd rock up and be like, hey, I want to speak to Chandler. Where is he? Give me Chandler right now. I want to shake that man's hand. That man got me 5,000 points <laughs> on GeoGuessr. Get me Chandler right now. All right. Uh, last round. Five of five. <sighs> Fucking hell. All right. We are on a road. We are on a road. South Park? You think we're in South Park? What do we got? Barter Country Store. What does that say? Ever? Ever oh, everyone welcome. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Ever, Everdone. Everdone? Is that a place in the United Kingdom? Dengi? Fiber feeds for health and performance? Dodson and Horrell? I don't know where we are. Is Dengi a place? <laughs> Surely that's not, a, that's not a place. Welcome to Everdome. Welcome to the Everdome! York! We're in the north! A64. We might be on the A64. York. There's a roundabout coming up. Uh, okay, so we're right. We're kind of off a big roundabout then. This helps. There's a superstore nearby. And then an industrial uh, estate. There's a caravan park nearby. Oh, and there's a McDonald's. Oh, holy day. I never thought I'd be so happy to see a a Papa's Fish and Chips. <laughs> um, alright. McDonald's. P 
Pappas. Fish and chips. All right. We're north of York. Let's have a look. Let me check out. Uh, I need to be using my compass more. I need to be... Uh, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Can't do that in a real car. You can't just be like, oh, I need to get over there. Uh, can I just... There we go. <laughs> drive through uh, Drive through the fence. <laughs> I, I need to get back. I do need to get back over there, though. Excuse me. No, I do not want to go to Morrison's. Oh, there, although I will write that down. That we are basically by a Morrison's. So, I think we're on the A64. Um, so, we will be... That's the A65. No, that's the M65. Uh... Where are the A roads? A. So you think we're north of York? In which case, the A sixty five four is A sixty six. God, I never thought staring at maps would be this interesting. Like, when I was younger, and my parents would have a book with maps, and they'd get out the map when we were going on a little bit of a road trip, I thought, that is so boring. What are you looking at maps for? This is the most fun I've had in a long time. A66. A67. Um, A66. I think it's probably more over this way. Um, old school GeoGuessr. It, yes, quite literally, yes. Uh, Wombat Den, thank you for the two months. Thanks for the chill content, dude. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. A689. God, I'm so... I Look, I I appreciate this is how it had to be done back in the day. But, uh... I'll take Google Maps any day over a... <laughs> Alright. McDonald's? No, oh, this is the wrong road, though. A64. Oh, sorry. I keep, I've been looking at the wrong thing. I keep thinking 68. All right, hang on a minute. Maybe we're south of York. Maybe I've gone too far. Gone too far. A63. A64. So we're looking for a roundabout that has a Papa's Fish and Chips. <laughs> so that's that's a slip road, I think. That's not a, that's not a roundabout. Um... That's a double roundabout. It was quite a... It was... A very big roundabout. We're looking for Papa's Fish and Chips, everybody. This is... No, this is McDonald's, but that's not... I don't think that's the one. Um, maybe I'm further down this way. We might also not actually be on the A64, but I this is where I think we are. Let me let me just quickly run back up. I can also go the other way to see what I can find. York. Uh, so I'm facing south right now. So if I'm facing north, wait, what? I would be driving from this direction. I'd, I would see that sign. So if I'm driving south south down the country. Wait, I'm so confused. My directions are so confused. Uh, if I'm driving south, am I not? I'm north of York. You're north of York. There's a roundabout here, but I don't see a Papa's fish and chips. <laughs> D 
Dean's Garden Center. No. Ben Buck Commercials. Yeah, so York is there. And I, th I feel like we are on the A64. Let me look for more roundabouts. Luckily, it's quite easy just to, like, jump to a roundabout and then see what's going on there. It would nice. It would be nice if you told me how many miles. Uh, there was a smaller roundabout next to the one you were looking at. Let's have a look. So we've got... What? So, yeah. Oh, I see. So... And then this is the industrial park. There's a Toyota garage. That'll be quite helpful. That'll be a very big uh, place to be looking out for. You know what? I think I need a bit more. I need like an information of what whereabouts I am. Let me. There'll be like there'll be a sign over here that'll be like, "Welcome to wherever's uh, steelwork specialists." Not helpful. What's going on here? Wait a minute. Where did those people go? I think that's like a Premier Inn as well. Hmm. Yeah. I would think that the car garage would say where we are. Maybe if I get closer to it, I will see. Let's have a look. Oh, now hiring. Where? Hello, uh, McDonald's. I saw you had a hiring now sign. I just need to know uh, which McDonald's was that? Yeah, I just saw, I was coming off of the, uh, maybe the A64, and I think I saw a sign opposite a Toyota garage. I just need to know which specific McDonald's you're hiring at. I don't need a list of all of them, I need to know where that sign was that I saw. I have no more information, sorry. There was a Papa's Fish and Chips nearby. Yeah, the photo also might not be recent. <laughs> Kids World? Wait, what's this? Staxtonbury. Now that sounds like a place. Staxtonbury. Alright. Garage, set, garage says Vantage. Would that be a place name? Maybe. Let's go. Hold on, where was that? Vantage. Maybe. I'll write it down. Re it could either be Vantage or Staxtonbury. Let's see. Scrampston! Welcome to Scrampston. Nobody lives here. Um. Because of me. Uh. Oh, God. It's st we're still looking for a needle in a haystack, though. Because we're either looking for, um... Staxtonbury or Vantage. I'm going to follow the A64 until we find, uh... Something of that effect. Oh, that's passing through, uh, Leeds. That's, uh... Oh, there's York. Oh, so we're north of York. Let's get back, uh, north of York. Let me know if you see anything, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm south of York. I know, I know, I know. I'm very bad with directions. <laughs> and there's Scrampston. Staxton? Staxton! Staxton, baby! Alright. A spittle farm. 
So, I don't think... I don't think this is the, um, the roundabout, but we are getting closer. See, now we're up in Scarborough. This is, this is two, um, also the A64 ends here. So... You guys saw a Morrison's? There's a McDonald's, Morrison's, McDonald's. Where's Papa's Fish and Chips? I think that's just a petrol station. And Morrison's, I think it was a... Oh, no, no, there is a big Morrison's. And there's... Okay, well, this might be it. If there's a Toyota garage. Hyundai. Mini Monsters. I don't think this is... Wait, Vantage Toyota. Oh! <laughs> All right, nice. Very good. Excellent detective work, guys. And by detective work, I mean excellent looking work. Was Papa just a sign? I think Papa's... You know what? Papa's Fish and Chips, I hope you go out of business. Thanks a lot for fucking us around. You're not even on the map. How dare you? How dare you? Honestly. I feel betrayed. If I'm ever up near New York, I will not. I will not be paying a visit to Papa's Fish and Chips. Okay. So, here's the roundabout. So, that's good. So, now we go south of this. And we look for something that we can... We're somewhere along here. Alright, let's go back to start. So, uh, if we go through this way, let's see how long it takes us to get to a roundabout. This would have been helpful to see uh, that Scarborough is north of where we are now. Um, Thursk. Welcome to Thursk. It's a thirst. We call it the Thirsk Trap. Because when you enter Thirsk, you never leave. Alright, so here's another roundabout. So we are somewhere between this roundabout and this roundabout. In fact, there's the overpass, I think. I believe that that is that. Which would mean we are like here? There is like some kind of a is it's not is that that's not a train station, is it? No. Oh, it's not showing it, but wait, are we this side of it? We're this side of it. Wait. I'm getting so confused. North is Morrison's. Oh, oh my god. Wow, my north and south's are really bad. Uh, we are this side of the... If we keep going north... No, because the, the McDonald's is up... Is south, no? But south is... Oh no, because that's... You know what? I'm pretty sure we're basically just here. <laughs> That's the building. This is where we're standing. That's the overpass. I think I think this is where we are. <laughs> Honestly, my souths and norths very messed up. So how far am I from that thing? If I'm looking straight that way. I think we're like here. It's further north. See, that's what... Now I'm doubting myself, because i that's what I thought it was. But if I go to that side of the... If we say that I'm here... The building is... Would it just not be marked on the map? 
The bridge is north of you. Correct. That is correct. If I look up, the bridge is north. And the north of, north of the country is here. This way. Looking up. So that's why it makes me think that I am actually just a little bit further down. You've gone south of the roundabout. Oh, wrong bridge? Oh, unless... Oh, but there's no... Mm. No, you guys are right. This might actually not be the right bridge. This might be the bridge. Our McDonald's is up there, which is this way. All right, let's see what else we got down here. Oh, shit. Get over there. Oh, hey, hey, Morrison's. Well, we're right by the Morrisons. That's what we know that for a fact. Because we just somehow. Where is the Morrisons gone? Well, here's. Wait, Morrisons is. Wait, am I over here? Oh, and. Is that the bridge? Oh my god. And that's Seema. Wow. Okay, I see what I've done wrong there. I understand the conundrum. And that is a little train station. Got it. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna guess on the beat drop. This song's got a, a really booping bass line, and I wanna drop on the drop. Here we go. Is this it? We're about to find out. <laughs> Six yards. Six yards away. 5,000 points. We did it. Thank you, chat. Thank you very much. We did it. I don't think this is a new record. Or is it? I think it might be. <gasps> oh my god! I think we beat our previous record. 24,964. Five. Wasn't the previous record 24,904? Oh my god. <laughs> nice. So this was the first one we did was the one we messed us up the most. Where was that? That was... Just somewhere. Was it... Was it this? No. That was two. That was number one. Where's number one? Oh, over here. Uh, which one was this again? I don't even remember this one. Oh, we guessed. Oh, we guessed all the way over here. Uh, Charlie got twenty four thousand nine hundred ninety nine in the UK ones. If you'd like to beat me. <laughs> wow. Dang, dude. I mean, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. A full 25k. So, like, what do you need to get 5,000 points? Do you need to be under, what, 10 yards? That would make sense. And then, what, uh, like 11 to 30 or something? Or is one point deduction? I feel confident, you know. Those f that first one was incredibly difficult. That first one was like... We were just on some road with nothing to work with. Not even a bridge. Not even a Papa's Fish and Chips. Um, nice. Which one took me the longest? 18 minutes, 18 minutes, 14, 23... Right, the Scotland one took me 23 minutes. Right, fair enough. Yes, we are going to do countries as well in a minute. We're going to do some countries. 
Support small businesses like Papa's Fish and Chips. I mean, maybe that's what I need to do to put them on the map. Maybe that's why they're not on the map. Because they're still a small business. You know what? Maybe um, Papa's Fish and Chips, if you're watching, maybe I spoke too, too hastily of you. Too, I spoke hastily of you. Um, maybe I was too harsh. I hereby announce, if I am ever on the A64 <laughs> going towards York or going towards uh, Scarborough, I will eat at Papa's Fish and Chips and I will give you a, a review. This is quite far for me to travel just to go, just to do it for the meme. It's a bit far for me to travel, to go all the way. <laughs> But if I'm in the area, if I'm ever visiting Jamie, my friend Jamie, who lives in uh, North Yorkshire, I'll, um... I'll check it out. Emma Elizabeth, thank you very much for the 11 months. 11 months, baby. One month away from that sweet one year. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. What if Papa doesn't exist? If I get there and Papa's is closed down, I will be very upset. Um, okay, guys, well... Country streak? No, no, no. Where's our ongoing games? We have a country streak going. Shall we jump back in? We've got a country streak of 12. Shall we resume using your knowledge of the world? Let us find the many countries we are in. Um, I will just repeat just... I know you guys know this, but if we've got any new people in the chat who have, like, appeared since I last said it, um, you're very welcome to help me figure out where we are. It's very welcome. This is the one where backseat gaming is allowed. Um, but just don't Google anything. Because, you know, it's more fun to not Google it. So let's do it. Let's jump in. Alright, well this looks like classic Ghana to me. Uh, we got the red soil. We got the roof rack. Uh, I think I'm thinking of locking in Ghana. What do you think, guys? Locking it in? Maybe we just search around first, just to be sure. Just because I feel like red soil could be in many countries. <laughs> Ooh, where are we? Um... Hmm. I, fe I almost felt like those colors were like, uh, maybe like, uh, like a, like a, f like football colors or something. South America could be an option. It could be. Yeah. I mean, let's try to find like a flag or something. I feel like we could find, because we, we have really out there at the minute, but we might be able to find uh, some kind of... Because this doesn't seem like a place where we're going to be seeing billboards, but we might find, like, a f the odd flag here. Here are... Ooh! Oh my god, look at this adorable little pink house. <laughs> um, obviously, if anyone sees a Papa's Fish and Chips, do call it out. The black tape on the roof rack means it is Ghana. I know this sounds like a joke, but I promise you that it's very real. Charlie, I don't think you want to put your life on the line here. We take Geo Guests very seriously, as I know you do as well. Um, but here's the thing. When people come in the chat and they start saying 100%, a thousand percent, ten thousand percent. Um, this is the an you know, this is the answer. And if we try it, and it is not the answer, I unfortunately have to live up to my promise of, uh, you know, it's not a full ban, but it is a little timeout. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find some more information first. I don't know if you, I don't know how, um, I don't think you wanna seriously say this. Uh, cause it could, this could be, this could be quite serious for you. Deeper Life Bible Church. Let's see, waka waka, meeting days times, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Hmm. Could be Zambia. Well, that's the thing. I was, I wasn't sure. I mean, I was kind of thinking maybe a country in that kind of area. I feel like we might get. <gasps> Hold the phone. Could it be? Could it be? Have we seriously... Oh my god! I mean, first of all, where exactly would we say Ghana is if I was to click on it? West? How, how west are we talking? Got ya. It looks like it actually might be. It actually might be. PJ is the real Mr. Worldwide? Hell yeah, dude. I think it's actually gonna be Ghana. I can't believe it. The black tape does not lie. Well, here we go. I'll take the guess. Correct! Oh my god. Wowie zowie. Whoa! Alright, this is beautiful. Where are we? Wow. I trust it. Uh, trashy gang. Kanglung. Ooh. Okay. Regional office of Kanglun. Kanglun feels relevant. Is this a real cow? That's can't be a real cow. Wait, is it a real cow? Is this a real cow? Pile of rubble. This is my god, this is beautiful. Another cow? How many cows can there be? Twelve? I am a hundred percent sure that the language is Tibetan, or at least the alphabet is the same. Okay, maybe that um, narrows it down. Also, this bunting is uh, adorable. It would have been helpful if this could have been maybe the uh, flag colors of the country. That would have been helpful. Hello. It's Bhutan. 100%. What makes you say that? Himalayas? What makes you say, um... What are we seeing here that is making us think, uh, Bhutan? Is that another... Is that a horse? Only country in the game mode that fits. Really? I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know much about Dupa uh, Bhutan. Uh, this is very pretty. Let's see if we can just find something. Dantak Border Roads Organization, wishing you a happy journey. A lot of English on the uh, signs. Does that, would that make sense for 
red license plates? Well, there we go. We might have solved it. Bhutan. And whereabouts, uh, forgive me, whereabouts is that? As I said the other day, my geography is not very good. There we go. Wow, okay. Let's give it a shot. I mean... Sure, let's give it a shot. <gasps> Correct! Very nicely done, guys. Very nicely done. Alright, where are we now? Where is this? Now, I'm not seeing any uh, red soil, but I have reason to believe we might be in Ghana. I feel bad. Whoever, who, uh, whoever it was uh, the other day who was Toasty! so adamant that we were in Ghana when we weren't. Um, I feel bad that they, they, they may have just memed, they may have memed themselves. Alright, what do we got here? Europe? Somewhere in Europe? This is very pretty. Oh, what do we got? Alright, we got stuff coming up. This should be a dead giveaway. Let's have a look. Art Mobili. Grand. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's Italy. Um, this is this is not an Italian word. <laughs> I know it says, <laughs> I know it says Itala, uh, Italy Jansky, um, but I don't think it's Italy, unfortunately. But let's keep going, because I think we've got a petrol station coming up. Um, let's have a look. Well, we're definitely in Europe. Euro Super. Euro Petrol. Hip Hop. Cafe Bar. Ooh. I mean, the amazing thing about everybody in the chat is gonna... We've got such a, like, a diverse amount of people in the chat from different places in, uh, the world that we'll, we are bound to have somebody in the chat who is from this country, I'm sure. We just need to... We just need to find them. The language is Slavic. Okay. That helps. Yeah, some kind of a flag would be good. I, I, I'm going to keep going this way. I want to stay on the main road. Because I think we'll find more, like... Uh, big building type of stuff. Like a website would be good. Verde? That's Croatia? You think? <sighs> Novi Poslov po Poslovni Center. Bus oh, business center. Slovenia? Did I, did something say Slovenia? Did I miss something? Restaurant Sport Club. This is uh, Montene, uh, Monten, Montenegro. Oh, uh, Montenegro. Hmm. Let's keep looking. I feel like we're getting close. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I think we just need a bit more information. 
Because we go, I guess we're going off of the language um, that we're seeing written down. I just wonder if there's like anything else that might help us a bit here. But that might be the case. Barcode. Barcode? What do we got here? Anything helpful? A website? Dot com. Oh, God. This doesn't help. Ivana Selikov? Um, Podgorica is the capital of uh, Montenegro. Oh, it literally said uh, Podgorica. Okay, I mean, if you if you're feeling certain, I can put you on the I can put you on the in the hot seat. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Come on, give us something. Give us something to work for. With work with. PJ says my name. Dot org doesn't help. Manira. It's PJ country. <laughs> I think so. What does this sign say? Um, no. Do you want to go? Should we go for it then? I mean, we've got, we have, there's, I don't know for, for like me knowing, but chat seems fairly uh, com like confident here. People are very convincing, yeah. All right, we'll check one more sign. We'll check this big one, and then this big one. See if there's any last clues. Billboardy. Oh, dot me, dot me. That's gotta be a clue, right? Maybe it is PJ. It's literally me. Okay. Well, I'm convinced. Um, whereabouts is that on the map? Here we go. All right, guys, are you ready? Oh, and there's the capital, right, you said. Okay, let's go for it. Yes! Guys! You guys are putting in the work. All right, moving on. Where are we? I'm seeing umlauts. Which is making me think we're somewhere in Europe. Uh, I don't know if... Does, is this... Is this... Abful? Maybe Germany, although I'm not too familiar with. If I could find some more like words, could I please get going? Could you let me go somewhere? Doesn't want me to go down there. I don't want to go down there. Can I just go somewhere? All right. Let's just find some more signage. Germany or Austria, maybe. I was I was wondering maybe Austria because I didn't recognize the words being German. But may, there might be some similarities between uh, German and Austria in terms of like the language. I, but I don't, I don't know for certain. The language is German. Okay. They oh they just do they just speak German in Austria? Okay. I I didn't know. <laughs> well, in that case, we definitely need some more. Um, Jesus, you guys the language experts or something? 
I, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not very good at, uh, <laughs> geography stuff. <laughs> but I'm still having a, I'm having a blast with this. I am, I'm a linguist. Oh, well, excellent. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, in which case, that will be very helpful. Oh, wow, we got a lot of linguists in the chat, huh? Veru. Fenster und Turin first Lieben. All right, that's definitely German, but now the question is, are we in Germany or Austria? Because did you guys know they actually speak German in Austria? Interestingly. Um, Hauptstrass? Uh, Lingual? That's just Main Street. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Um, hmm. Is this a flag? Switzerland? Okay. Let me phrase the let me frame this question in um in a way that doesn't make me look stupid. So, um... So do they speak... Why... How... If I was in Switzerland... They speak... They speak German. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> Alright, excellent. Right. Alright, I think we're going for Switzerland then. This better be right. Correct. Very nice. Okay, guys. We appear to be in some kind of a void. Is this hell? We are in hell. We appear to be in hell. There is a light at the end of this tunnel. Thank God. Get me out of here. Ah! Wow. <laughs> All right. Just spawned us in a tunnel, man. Very pretty. I like these. Uh... Ooh. Uh, rafting. Something waterfall. A waterfall for rafting? Seems like a European thing to do? I guess let's check the number plates, maybe. License plates. Is this Europe? Um. Oh, did I miss this sub? This gamer girl. Thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And Sudzy Guitar asks, Hi PJ, do you think you'll be playing any more Pokemon games or any VR in the future on stream? I don't know. Um, I want to do Pokemon Snap when that comes out. So we'll definitely do that. Um, as for VR games, I'm not too sure to be honest. VR makes me a little sick. I'm not going to lie. It does make me feel a little sick. So I'm not entirely sure. Alright, what do we got? Rafting center, waterfall. Rafting Montenegro. Are we there? Wait, are we? Are we back in uh, Montenegro? Again? I mean, you can't, it doesn't get any more clear than that, right? I'll take it, honestly, I'll take it. Um, uh, where did we decide that was? Should we... Is that... Wait. <laughs> Maybe we should just go a little further first. And just see... I mean, it really wants us to go rafting. But let's try and see if we can find anything else that might lead us to believe that that's where we are. 
It might just be called that? That would be a... That's like me setting up a, a... A bagel shop in the UK and just calling it like... I suppose French bagels. Yeah, maybe you would do that. I don't know. But is, is waterfalls... Is that something... I don't know, man. Actually, it's, it's really not that out of the ordinary to have a place in the UK called, like, yeah, French bagels. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe we just need to do a bit more searching. Maybe I was a little hasty there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's go. Come on. It just kind of goes on forever, huh? All right, what is this? little house that is a very no surely not I'm not sure what that place is but may I go no further I want to go over there Google Maps you big stink let me go over there oh god has Google Maps just decided that I cannot go any further okay well back to the start and this time we're gonna exit this way Wow. Oh my god, I'm getting a slight bit of vertigo just looking at this. It's really pretty. Definitely making me miss being places and going places. Rejenka Piva? Get me to something, please. Oof, these tunnels are like also giving me slight anxiety. Just the thought of having to drive through them. I've um So I've driven along sort of cliffs like this before in uh Lanzarote. Uh but the cliffs had no railings and they were really scary. Um Wait, are we saying 100% uh, Montenegro at this point? Wait a minute, 10 million percent? Piva is the name of the river. All right, let's lock it in. Yeah, all right, nice, very nicely done. Oh, look at that little house, very cute. Ooh, where are we? Interesting. Come on, just give me like something immediately. Just give me Hendro Nursery, Jambu uh, Kinchala, Walrus War. I can't. War runes me. Let's keep going. No, oh, guys, this absolutely cannot be gone. What's that say? Peru? No, I don't think so. See, doesn't even have, not even got any uh, rails on top of the, on top of the car. Or in Los Angeles. This feels like maybe this word is important. Per, per something. Indonesia? Could be. Wait a minute. Is that a little banana tree? Or am I imagining? I thought it was bananas. Am I imagining bananas? Is that bananas? Wow. I didn't realize that a banana tree, you grow bananas once, then you chop it down, and that's the end of the banana tree. <laughs> I didn't realize bananas was just like, I thought it was just unlimited, you know, growing. That's not quite how banana trees work. 
What does that say? This shit is bananas. Yeah. Primary English course. This way. Okay. Interesting. Really cute houses. Whoa! Oh my god, look at this place. God, it, would you not just want to paint your house to look like this? Like, I was saying to Sophie the other day, can we not just, like, paint, like, you know, we own this place. Can we just, like, paint it whatever color we want? I've always wanted, like, a really, like, colorful door or something, but why can't I, can I, why can't I just paint the whole house? Why have people got to be so boring? I would, I would very happily paint my actual house to look like this. Might make the resale value tank, but it's like, <laughs> it's fun. Wouldn't it just be amazing? I mean, that's why I love Brighton. There are so many places that are like, you'll go into central, like, Brighton town, and there'll be so many, like, uh, terrace houses that are colorfully painted. Um, and it is so pretty. Yeah, particularly in town, you'll see them. Pressure wash it when you sell it, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything out here. Studio photo and photocopy. Ooh. Little cart there with some bags of popcorn, it looks like. There, look at this. Look at these. I love the windows as well. The, those orange windows against the yellow wall. That's Indonesian language. Okay, so... We're sort of maybe, what, like 90%, 95% Indonesia? The Philippines, maybe? Could be Malaysia. Ooh. say bang it bank it bank it is that a place i passed an indonesian flag where was it back here i should have been looking out for flags where was the flag driving on the left. Hmm. So where I hang on, how I how have I missed this flag? Where's the flag? They're driving on the left so it can't be Philippines. Hmm. I wonder, are they maybe driving on the left because it's just this little off-road, or...? Let's, I think we need to try and find something a little bit more... Just a little, a little extra help. Uh, first of all... I don't even know what that is, but I want some. Medical place? Apotech? Media farmer? Mm -hmm. 
All right, what do we got here? Um, is this something? Is this a flag? Blue, white, blue with this in the middle? Indonesia? Where does it say Indonesia? Oh, it... <laughs> okay, it literally says it right there. Perfect. All right. GG, guys. Very good work. Oh, wow. I never realized how much Indonesia covers. That is a lot. All right. So... We're going for this, then. All right. Please let it be right. Correct, Amundo. Beautiful. All right, let's do a few more. What's the time? It is... Oh, it's 6.25. Okay, I need to wrap up quite soon. But let's do a couple more. All right. Um, we are out in a desert somewhere. Uh, Vavinon, thank you very much for gifting us up, dude. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Looks like the US or Oz. Could be. Could be. Let's do some driving. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an American car. Let's keep going. Let's try and hit a sign. Uh, we're currently driving on the right, so... Oh no, wait. Oh, I'm going backwards. Okay, cars are driving on the left. Which should be a big clue. Also, 60. Is that... Colum... Is that... What is that? Mar... Because that's... Is that miles per hour? That wouldn't make sense. That's got to be like... Is that... Oh no, that must be miles per hour. Because kilometers would be like a hundred here. Um, give me one second, guys. Yeah, this, I don't believe this is the US. Let's see, what do we got here? A tuck shop. Shoshong. Hmm. Ast uh, Lula asks, Hey PJ, I'm playing Stardew Valley. What should I call my goat? Uh, call your goat... Um, Chasbo. Call it Chasbo. With two Zs. Um, what do we got here? Let's have a look. Mascom. Uh, Lesser D General Dealer. Wrecker D Units Far. Is this ringing a bell to anyone? Is this looking like anything to anyone? Yeah, not, not Australia, no. I think we need some more information. Some signs. Let's keep making our way up here. Uh, Siriox, thank you very much for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to the sweet potato community. Right, we're definitely coming up to an area here where there's more like, buildings. That might help. The sun is in the north, so somewhere in the south of Africa. Wait a minute. Jesus, we're working this out from the position of the sun? I don't even know what, where the sun is in the sky in the UK. 
Just up. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Hmm. Half of half of TV stand. Travelers? No, I can't I don't think I can read that. It's too blurry. Botswana! I think we are in Botswana. This is Botswana, 100%. Okay, and where roughly would I find Botswana if I were to look on a map? Got it. All right. Correct. Right, we'll do one more. We can do one more and then I gotta bounce. I gotta bibbity bobbity bounce. Right, we're in a city. This um, could be a bit easier. Bulo and Lind? A pet salon. All right, we're in Europe, maybe? Mmm, cake shop. Germany? Um, no. KR? Krona? Sweden? Is Krona, uh, the currency? Yeah, this feels like, I think this feels like Sweden. Also, I absolutely want to get a tasty bagel from this bagel place if we can if we can manage that has that technology been invented uh all right yep yeah. se i'm confident that we're going to sweden currency in norway sweden and denmark ooh okay interesting why do they not use this is a question again forgive my ignorance i just don't know why do they not use the euros there Are they just, are they, they're not part of the European Union, okay. True, why don't the UK use euros? Yeah, true. Sweden and Denmark are in the EU. Ah, badminton, squash, tennis. Mamma mia! That's offensive. Um, all right, I will be um, I will be lodging a complaint against this. What I'm only assuming is a mom and pop run um, pizzeria. I will be requesting that they shut down effective immediately for appropriating um, Mamma Mia as their title, as their shop. So, I think Sweden, then. Student pizza. Gyros planka. Twelve of Aragoda. Gretorada. I'm just seeing if there's any words I recognize. Of the few Swedish words I know. Valspisten. Godis. Goods. How do I know Swedish? Uh, I have <laughs> several, <laughs> several s Swedish friends um, who sometimes on uh, group calls all decide to just start speaking Swedish with each other. Telefon. You want to use the telephone? Oh, goddess is sweets. Oh. Candy. Um, question from Vavanon. I'd like to visit Japan one day. Any tips on visiting? Did you learn much Japanese before going over? No, I didn't really learn much. Just a few phrases to kind of get by. Uh, but tips is... I would actually... <laughs> my tip is to look up YouTube videos that give you tips. Um, because 
yeah, there's a lot of stuff I didn't really know, like a lot of etiquette things that are quite um, handy to know about, like, you know, not eating on trains and stuff. Like, you can do that, but you it's kind of a bit rude and uh, it's sort of the etiquette to not really do that kind of stuff. So, like, but then, like, there's certain type of trains where it's like, okay, like, I feel like the bullet train, I, I, I kind of just went along with what other people were doing. If I saw someone else eating, you're allowed. It's just, it's considered rude, I think. But certain types of trains. Stuff like that. Um, anyway, I think... Are we going for uh, Sweden? We think in Sweden? The only thing... I mean... I don't... I haven't seen a Swedish flag or an Ikea anywhere. So that's the only thing that's making me think that maybe it might not be. Korpen. Definitely. All right. Here we go. Yes! 20 countries. Very nicely done. Okay. That will be a good place. I did enjoy this location. Thank you. I enjoyed it because it was easy to pinpoint. <laughs> right. Okay. So, I think that's going to be where we actually end for today. So, again, they save the streak, don't they? If I go out of here. My ongoing game. Wait, no! It didn't save... Current streak 19. Uh, it was 20, actually. Thank you very much. Fuck. It's all right. I think I must... I think I needed to have pressed resume. All right. It doesn't matter. Well, we're not doing that right now, anyway. Never mind. We'll just have to do another one. Oops. We'll just have to do another one. It's fine. Um, That was fun. I enjoyed that. Oh, it says 20? Ah, okay. When you clicked on it, it said 20. Oh, okay. So maybe we're on the 20th one. Or if... Oh, it just fixed... Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right, guys. Well, uh, I've got to bounce because uh, I've got a, 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 a cage rage tonight. I've got to watch a Nicolas Cage film. I think I'm thinking Ghost Rider 2. Um, but this was fun. I enjoyed this. Uh, I'm really enjoying the, the GeoGuessr. Uh, we'll mix in some other, um, some other things, some other um, games and stuff quite soon. Um, I think for the minute, I'm sort of done with kitchen simulator it was fun for a couple of streams but i don't know if i'm gonna get much more out of it um but we need to finish zelda still stardew valley uh i'm gonna hold off on minecraft for the minute until maybe there's the update drops um i also i'll keep you posted but uh nintendo are sending me a mysterious package something monster hunter themed i don't know what uh, so I thought that could be fun to um, open on stream and see what it is. So we will uh, open that probably Monday if it arrives, hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see. Will I play Fall Guys again? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Yeah. So uh yeah. We'll we'll I'll open it on stream soon. I don't know if I'll be on this weekend. Uh oh it's shit, it's Friday. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be on this weekend, but um maybe uh well I'll be back Monday. God, how the week these weeks just fly by, man. Uh I've got some editing to do as well. I've been filming, so I've got I've got a new video coming that's um should be a neat little something. And also uh, I'm gonna be making some more music stuff as well. Um yeah, I'm playing around with uh, loops and stuff at the minute. I'm recording little loops and having some fun. Uh, and I'm also... Um, yeah, I got a new pedal that I'm playing around with called Hologram Infinite Jets. Uh, you may have seen... I posted on Instagram stories last night. And Twitter, actually. I posted a little uh, uh, video. Just like a little 40-second video of me playing some uh, guitar. Um, yeah, I want to try and do that for a stream soon. I want to, like, just... No talking, just like playing guitar, sitting over there and playing some guitar, uh, like building up some loops and just making some like um, soundscape kind of stuff. You know, just messing around, jamming, jamming around. Um, yeah, and have some fun with that. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, have a great weekend. I wish you all the best. Take care, everybody. Thank you for coming down today. Thank you um, for all the uh, not like Gabe. No, no this is. 
Yeah, all right, like Gabe. I like Gabe, all right? From The Office. First time I watched it, I thought he was just a, a goofy-ass stick man, but actually, no. Gabe is great. I think he's a great character. Thanks for not banning me over the gun. I think, well, you, the, I didn't need to. I didn't need to. Um, well, let's, we'll, let, we'll bury this hatchet in Ghana. And hopefully, maybe someone, shut up about the sun. <laughs> and maybe someone will um, dig it up one day. Who knows? Um, thank you very much for the subs and uh, follows and, uh, and bits today, guys. I appreciate it. And, and for all the kind gift subs. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I'm going to get out of here. Take care. Have a good evening. And I will see you uh, soon. Can we end on... Can we end on, like, a something slamming? What do we got in the slamming department? We got anything slamming? I want to end on a slamming booping-ass track. What do we got? What do we got? Give me the good stuff. What do we got? Not that. More slamming. More slamming. More slamming. Hell yeah. All right. See you guys later. Goodbye.